beautiful. Mm -hmm. I've got the surface down, now I've just done a little bit of filling, little holes and things on the edges. Rubbing it down with a Think about paint, this is just the first coat. Mm -hmm. Think about painting, make sure you have enough on that. Is oh, so we tend to lay it off like this mm -hmm. and then it spreads the paint out nicely. Okay, first coat now. Clean brush. Explain. Hmm? Second coat? This is the sec second coat. Mm -hmm. I need to come around here. I might have to do a final coat, I'm not sure yet. Okay, here we go. Wow. You mix this uh, epoxy glue. Mm -hmm. Drilled, made little metal pins, and the, in both of them, there's another one. Mm -hmm. This is the one I made. Mm. And for instance, this then I've drilled a little hole here, and that then fits inside there, like that, and is then glued. Mm -hmm. Nice. And it holds it nice and strong. Okay. And that goes in like that. Okay? Mm -hmm. mm. <laughs> He's happy. The fossil goes in like this. Like that. And now he's got two new tasks. <laughs> yeah. He's so happy. All of this here, ears, tusks, and everything else. Mm -hmm. Now, it's difficult, but first I'm going to paint the dark colour. It'll be like a dark brown. I'm going to use this, what's called uh, this acrylic paints, okay? Um, I'll mix a little bit of black with it. Mm -hmm. Then I let it dry. Then I mix a much lighter colour, similar to this, and kind of wipe it over when it's dry and uh, slightly darker for his toenails okay <laughs> and fi the final thing will be the eyes and the tusks the tusks are more or less ready after a little rubbing down here mm -hmm. uh, and obviously the ears but there's quite a lot of process to be done yeah okay i have a little list here a little list mm -hmm. i have an array of brushes oh. here and here and this is an old paint palette, which I will mix the paint on. All right. And oh, I'm not sure if mm -hmm. it's going to be the correct color. So I'll, I'll just check. Is it dark? It's probably not too bad. I'm going to add a little black to it. Mm -hmm. Move that right. No, a little too much more brown, a little white, okay? Mm -hmm. Anyway, that's because there's a lot of paint required. Mm.
out the wire sort of okay now i have to work quickly mm -hmm. and just to gently brush everything in and working all the way around not his final colour, it's just the, it gives the shading. That's now the first coat, mm -hmm. I'm going to let it dry, then I wipe over a lighter grey-brown colour, with a little bit of cream in it, that will give all the highlights of the top surface of the skin. I then do the uh, inside the ears, do his nails, tusk, and of course, his mouth and eyes. First, it has to dry. When it's all painted, then I will spray it with a matte varnish. just testing because I'm not sure quite how to paint this so I've got the various sponges and things but I think it's what do you think I think it's okay the colors right I think mm -hmm. I think it looks it's looking okay isn't it yeah Mm -hmm. uh, this looks quite good, I think. Okay. And sponge. No, Ta-da! I've not done the ears, tusk, eyes, or tongue yet. Mm -hmm. Or his fingernails. Mm -hmm. It's a more natural colour. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to do it like a creamy colour. Mm -hmm. Okay. First, I'm going to do the eyes with yellow ochre. Mm -hmm. um, then I'll mix the yellow ochre oh, um, with white and I'll start doing this, okay? Mm -hmm. and, and the tusks. I bought this uh, special little bristle brush. It's going to be easier than, better than these, I think. But uh, and this is just a little masking because I want to. Mm -hmm. Here, I'm just going to sort of lightly brush it on. Do that and then that. See? Mm -hmm. 
i hope